Hi, and welcome back to TT on Everything. Remember, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. These are thoughts and opinions, and all things are alleged. But while you're here, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Go on and smash it. I would love to be your friend. Let's be friends. Y'all, we need to talk about this. Y'all know the... SWV and Escape, Queens of R&B has wrapped up, and I'm just having a hard time digesting. I mean, through all of what's gone on or has transpired on television, Latasha and Rocky still refuse to acknowledge their wrongdoing. I mean, ugh, Lord have mercy. We ain't gonna even talk about their confessionals. But you know that, you know, we saw the receipts that Tamika put up earlier um, in the show. Well, she didn't put them up in the show, but earlier when they was talking about the money, the money that from the checks that which her husband name miraculously appeared on the canceled checks that which he claims he have no knowledge of or uh, Latasha, that's what they call her, still wants to proclaim, I never heard about no money being stolen or no royalty checks. I just heard about it when everybody else did, which is obviously a lie. And I think that's the biggest issue that I'm having, that they won't acknowledge what they have done. It'll be one thing to say, okay, we've done this. Let's get on a payment plan. Let's pay you back. Or, yeah, we may have cashed your checks. It was an error. It was a mistake. My bad. How can we make this right type of thing instead of saying, oh, she's a liar. Or, well, you know, she got issues alluding to that she may have some mental issues. But even as going as far as to say, well, you know, she's always been around bunches growing up. She was even kicked out of school. Why you want to bring that up? That ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China. All that is, is you still trying to cover your behind. You still not trying to accept or acknowledge what you all have done. And then you and your husband want to go into confessionals. Now, that was interesting to me. The last episode, Tasha, La Tasha, and Edward stealing hands. That wasn't the name I, that was, that's not a name I gave them. That's the name that they were given. La Tasha and Edward stealing hands. They go into confessions, okay? And Rocky makes mention that I'm not a hustler. If somebody, if I get some money because I do a deal. But it was interesting how Latasha interjected and said, well, let me interject for a minute. Or let me intervene. Or let me just say that a lot of us brought deals to the table in which we get percentages of. That's a kickback, boo. Y'all getting a kickback. Escape didn't know it. And when I say escape. I'm talking about Tiny, Tamika, or Candy. Nobody knew about this monies, as you're saying. Even when y'all held the meeting, where when your sister Tamika, the receipt queen, pulled it out and said, we finna have a business meeting. You still didn't acknowledge it. What is this? What is this, what is this supposed to be? You believe a text message? Uh, yeah. Uh, Yeah. And then you had the audacity to bring your husband on as if he can disprove it. Now, that's what I was hoping because I really want to believe in you, too. I really want to believe that there's just some miscommunication. You guys are misunderstood or that there may be something that we're just not getting. Because, you know, I know they compress the episodes in, in what they are. And I know it's a lot of material that is not being shown. I, we get it. America gets it. However... Your husband took the tone of where he didn't give a damn. He said, I got the same messages he got, da, 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 da. And you know what? That would have been the most opportune time for him to say, I have the same text messages the promoter have. I screenshot and send it to Tasha and y'all can see the communication, the actual communication between me and the promoter. But did he do that? No. He said, y'all do what y'all do because I don't care. In his mind, he was saying, I don't give a damn. But he was like, I don't care. I don't need you to speak on my behalf. Yeah, that's what he said. Now, back to them in the confessions. And when Tasha made the statement saying that when they bring take deals to the table and all, they get a percentage, re not realizing she's defining kickback. Did y'all notice how he stopped and he was looking at her as he was talking? He placing his hand on his chest. He's being a matter of fact. His cold, his complete and whole demeanor changed.
That brother said, I don't have to steal. And somehow, I don't know what happened in the end. His shoulder went up. And for me, that was a tattletale sign. When you lying or you uncomfortable, you on blast, your body going to act out too. And that was his body straight up telling on him. When his shoulder went up, that was like, you lying. He didn't even get it. But y'all, I'm just having a hard time. Y'all can listen in the comments on how y'all feel, but I'm having a hard time accepting all of this. I can't digest it all. Even down to her now, y'all know her gospel album is out. It came out on Good Friday. If y'all want to support a supporter, I can't do it. I can't do it because I don't trust them. They don't appear to be trustworthy people. And then, you know, Tasha had been going on these rants and rampages about um, she just want to sing or she want to do God's work, singing gospel, and people won't let her sing and all this. And the enemy is busy. You're right. The enemy is busy. Every day the enemy is busy. That's why you need to kick him out your bed. I, I ain't mean to say that, but I guess I did. But the only way I would be able to support this album, and I'm talking to Motown, or better yet, I'm going to get in my funky Dineva voice. Motown people. Motown people. Y'all make sure to garnish her checks and pay Tamika her money. Hell no. That would be the only way that I would be able to support this album, is if some portions of it was going to repay her sister. I can't support you. You talking about you doing God's work all along being deceptive and manipulating the entire situation, not accepting responsibility or accountability for the things that you and your husband have done and said. And we ain't going to even talk about candy. That's going to be a whole nother video. Y'all, he, Rocky did a video over 10 years ago. Man, he was bashing candy like, like I can't even imagine. However, I have been able to debunk a lot of the things he said. And the thing of it is, it's not the point of doing no actual investigations. It's just people are coming out and saying, even Jermaine Dupri said, I wasn't pushing for Latasha to be solo. I didn't want to break up the group. Those words came from Jermaine Dupri. But y'all want to say, Candy found a way to get signed to Columbia. And her album dropping, Tasha didn't. That ain't had nothing to do with candy, but you found some way to put it on them. Y'all, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm having a hard time digesting this. And I just I'm I'm feeling like candy. I'm glad the show over. Cause you know what? It is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of underlying situations, circumstances, conditions that's all encompassed in this thing here. I mean, this right here goes back. This is the realest reality show I have ever seen. I don't think I could take another one. My heart can't take it. It's just too much. Too much of a roller coaster ride. The highs, the lows. Oh, my God. Well, I thank y'all for listening. Don't forget to click, like, comment, and share. And I'll see y'all or get at y'all in another one.